guys as you saw in that little time lapse we got the bug up on the trailer because today's a very awesome day we're taking it over to the barn as you saw in our last video the lift is up and functional and finally working so we're gonna take the bug over there drop it off john's got some stuff he's got going on so he's gonna be doing that and the rest of the video is gonna be pretty much just me but we're taking the bug over to the farm we're going to uh we got our bit in from amazon so we're gonna go Drill the rest of the holes, anchor down the rest of the lift, and we can go for it. So I'm going to load up the little odds and ends that I'm taking to the farm with me with the bug, and we'll see you guys on the way over. I'm sure you guys are wondering, Duncan, why are you using your hand to clean this off instead of blowing it out with your new leaf blower? Um, I left my batteries at home on the charger, so we don't have any power tools aside from what we can plug into the generator right now. socket back on there but I'm gonna go grab a uh, inch and an eighth end wrench and just snug them up
<laughs> hey, looky here. I think my le my leak is my oil pan. I'm gonna go through. I'm probably gonna end up putting you guys in first person view here soon. Get a little clip for my hat or something because I like the iPhone quality is amazing. I love it, but it's really hard to get work done when I'm you know trying to get good angles and I'm moving around. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing either. So what I'm gonna do is. Get a clip so I can mount the GoPro on my hat. Should be relatively out of the way. You should get really good footage. And we're gonna go through, and you can see this loose wire right here. This needs to be ran better. Um, this is my main power, my main positive from the battery. That needs to be rerouted. I shoved it through there so it wouldn't fall on the ground. I need to take these and I need to build a little bracket for them, mount them up out of the way from there and then over here take them and build a bracket and mount them up over and off the axle like that and eliminate anywhere where it could rub through i need to hard mount well not hard mount but i need to take some p-clips and mount my trans cooler lines up a little bit over here you can see there on the axle get them up and out of the way and so i bought A nice assortment of self tappers so we're gonna go through with the self tappers and uh, hang these P clips I bought two packs of the P clips we got some nice large ones all the way down to some nice smaller ones so we'll go through with the P clips and we'll reroute all those wires and last but not least that's fuel line goes up and over I don't like the way that's routed I shoved it through there and it comes out and it drops down between the body and the frame with a freaking rusty edge like a knife ready to cut it and I know it's not good I did it temporarily like everything else I just ran it it's literally hanging down right here shoved it through there up to my filter so I'm gonna take some P-clips. I'm gonna reroute my fuel line and make it pretty and safe. And I'm really excited for that to get it up out of the way. And also, you can see all the leaks. This whole fuel filter system is gonna go. I've got dash six AN line right here. Um, and so what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm just going to buy a uh, Six, dash six an fuel filter an inline fuel filter they're like 25 bucks i'm already putting good 93 octane in here it's pretty clean i'm not that worried about it so it's a brand new tank so i'm just gonna put a smaller easier filter on here so i'll be pulling this off cutting the studs i welded right there to mount it off and just mounting it with a clamp calling it a day My brother Parker would not get off my back about getting a Bauer impact. Just an impact at all. And uh, starting to use power tools. And I was like, dude, I don't want to spend money. Like, whatever, I'll be fine. And he was like, no, you won't. Like, you need to get an impact to make your life so much easier. And honestly, it's been one of the best freaking investments I've ever made. I've got a uh, Bauer 3.8 impact, I've got a Bauer half inch, and then I have a uh, heat gun by them, 
and my drill. Just a bunch of power tools from that and, I, and that leaf blower I bought. And man, they're really great. Here's my super simple cross member that I made. Literally a, pace, a piece of three quarter, actually it might be one inch, by like two and a half inch. Uh, rectangle tubing. Can't remember what thickness, but it's it's really heavy. Um, just drilled some holes, drilled some holes and mounted it through the frame, through the old spots. And yeah, it's worked fine. And the pinion angle is actually within two degrees of that pinion angle, which was really surprising. But now I'm going to have to uh, redo my cross member. And I'm probably going to have to bring it out and over for the TH350, I'm not sure, but we'll figure it out as we go. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I cannot express how grateful and excited I am to finally have the bug up on our lift. Like, this is just such a dream come true. I know we keep saying that, but I cannot express to you guys just what a dream it is and how grateful we are. This bug right here has been a project for two and a half years of doing the V8 swap. And it's, you know, been in our family since 1998, 99, 98, since around the time I was born. And I've always wanted this bug to be driving. I've always wanted it to be my car. And I bugged and bugged and bugged, no pun intended, <laughs> my older brother, Tyler, to sell me the bug, to give me the bug, to trade me the bug, to let me just build the bug and work on it and register it in my name or in his name and just let me have it because he wasn't doing much with it. It was just sitting. And for my 16th birthday, he surprised me, gave me the car. So I've had, I've been trying to get this car drivable for years and years. And I got fed up with the, the 1641 CC Volkswagen engine that was in it. It had no reverse in the transaxle. And I just never really got it going. I couldn't get that engine to run well enough to drive. Well, I decided a little over two years ago that I was gonna V8 swap this. And it's been a long, hard, gruesome road. Um, <laughs> it's been so difficult. And I know I picked one of, a, a really crazy project to be my first real build, but I couldn't be more happy with it. I. <laughs> I get discouraged and mad and give up every so often. But then I come back and I just love it, man. I'm, I'm, I've worked really hard and put in a lot of hours and a lot of time. It's been so long in the making to have this car the way it is right now and to have our own lift, our own spot to do it on. So sorry for the rant, everyone, but I just want to tell you guys how grateful I am and you guys watching the videos really does help us and we won't be able to do what we want to do without you guys. So we appreciate your love and support. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you can see the next video. And remember guys, even when you're aggravated with your car because things aren't going the right way and you put a transmission in it for the third time when it's got no stinking floor in it, don't forget, stay hungry, stay humble, stay motivated. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye!